This series on becoming a Christian by heart. Pang sampu na po ito. Ten part na po to. If you miss the other nine parts, you can go and visit our YouTube channel and our Facebook channel, Facebook page pala. Marunong na ako niya, no? All for Christ Church International. Yan. Subscribe. By the way, hoy, chika lang. Na-discover ko, hindi pa pala ako subscribe sa YouTube channel natin. So bad. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> so yung sa katabi mo, sana ikaw subscribe ka na, ha? <laughs> We already subscribed sa YouTube channel natin, okay? Ano na sabi niya? Click the notification button. Ayan. Ayan. And the bell. Alright? Now, this series on becoming a Christian by heart, perhaps is one of the series that all of us who profess to be Christians but are not sure where we will go when we die. Napakahalaga po nito. This series is important for all of us who profess that we love Jesus, we are Christians. But if asked, if you die today, where will you go? Heaven or hell? Amen? Who here professes to be, I'm a, to be a Christian? I'm a Christian. Taas, taas kamay. Dalawa lang, tatlo lang. Yeah, so who here says, I love Jesus. Come on, come on. Yes, Woo! let's give the Lord a crop offering. Praise the Lord. Amen. Can we all close your eyes? Close your eyes. Close your eyes. So walang, walang uh, mag, ano, ha, magbubukas sa mata. Close your eyes, please. And be honest with yourself. Be honest. I just want to know. I want to know so that I can preach this message with, with all of my heart. Okay, who here, if you die today, or if Jesus comes here, and then, baguhin lang natin, if, di, if you die today, sin, close your eyes, don't peep, oh? okay, sino dito ang pupunta sa langit, taas ang kamay? Okay, baba na. Naku, iba ng opya. Sige, bukas ng mata. <laughs> Amazingly, Meron pa rin hindi sigurado. You know, yung iba nga nang hopya, siguro sabi niya, Naku, mas, ma- mas mataray sa akin to eh. Nagtaas ng kamay, ako din. <laughs> Taas na rin ako ng kamay. You know, it is very, very important for all of us to know if we really are true converts of Jesus Christ. Because, you know why? Heaven is real. And hell is real. And life here on earth will be very difficult, much more if we live our lives without Jesus Christ. Today's message is another important commandment of Jesus Christ. And if we are to be a true Christian by heart, we need to obey this. The title of our uh, message today is Loving One Another. Loving one another, a true picture of a family of God. Ayan. Loving one another is not loving because may uwi kang Jollibee sa, na- sa misis mo. I love you. In loving one another is yung, it's not like uh, because the person is good to you. Even in church, You know, we don't love one another because they are good to you, no? Loving one another is when we love in spite of. Yan. Sabi mo ulit sa katabi mo, kaya mahal na mahal kita kahit ganyan ka eh. <laughs> because Jesus Christ loved us while we're still sinners, no? He loved us so much. So napakahalaga po yung uh, uh, loving one another is important in the eyes of God. Sabi nga ng scripture kanina ng psalmist ni David, how good and how pleasant it is when brothers and sisters dwell together, they live together in unity. No, Blessings are bestowed upon them. Okay. Now, today's anchor verse will come from our reading. A new command I give you. Can we all read this together? A new command I give you, love one another 
As I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, all men will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. Yan. Jesus in Matthew 24, verse 1 to 51, gave His disciples nine signs before He comes back. He says there will be false messiahs. False messiahs shall deceive many. And this is happening in an increasing measure. Sa Pilipinas nga, may misaya na eh, di ba? Right? May misaya na. Sa Bisaya, si Davao. No? Uh, pina, uh, imagine the nerve. Pinapa-submit ang CV ng mga pastor. At nang mapirmahan daw niya, kapag walang siyang pirma, hindi ka rami pupunta sa langit. <laughs> Gusto ko sana sabihin na awesome, kundi how terrible is that? <laughs> right? It's false messiahs all around. Wars and rumors of wars. Ang daming, ngayon, nagpapapogi na naman si Putin. No? At uh, sumasali na rin ang Saudi Arabia. No? Even UAE. Nation will go to war against nations. Kingdoms against kingdoms. You know, Ukraine and Russia, magkasama yan. Motherland, isa lang yan eh. But they fight now. Famines and earthquakes in many parts of the world. Today, let's pray, Father. Let's pray for the Philippines because it's now being devastated by another typhoon. Lord, we pray, Father, for our nation, the Philippines. We pray, Father, for you to protect, Lord God, our land. Lord, may your mighty angels, Lord God, flap their wings, Lord God, and flap this rain typhoon clouds away from our nation, Lord God, and take charge and take care. May your mighty angels take care of our families. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Famines and earthquakes in many parts of the world. Sa Norte, sunod-sunod po ang, uh, ang earthquake. Grabe. And it is increasing, ha? Ha? Normal na ata yung six, no? Sa Richter scale. Persecution of Christians because you follow Jesus. Persecutions. Every day, they are about 13 to 14 Christians that are being killed in the mission field. And we do not know that. And we do not know that. Christians who is giving up their life for the gospel. At padami ng padami na po yan. No? Even dito, nararamdaman po natin. No? Uh, nagihigpit na po sila. Many will turn away from Jesus. Atheism. Alam niyo, atheism, hindi matiisin ha. Atheism. <laughs> atheism, ibig sabihin, hindi naniniwala na may Diyos. Dati yung nananampalataya, pero ang dami na, na, na tumalikod na sa Panginoon. Atheism, yung practicing LGBTQs. You know, may, minsan ako ay nagpapa, nagpapa money pedi, uh, di ba? Meron kasi sa, Pilip, sa Dubai na puro ano, puro, el, puro, ano, puro, uh, puro gay, no? Ando doon. Sila yung naglilinis ng kamay ko. Sabi niya, Pastor, kilala po ako doon pastor eh. Talaga bang hindi kami pupunta sa langit? Sabi ko, yan, kaya kailangan magbasa kayo ng Bible kasi ano yan, marites lang yan. Hindi kumpleto yan. Ang sabi ko sa kanya, ang hindi pupunta sa langit, eh, yung homosexual, sabi na, yung mga homosexual, hindi pupunta sa langit. Hindi. Ang nakalagay sa Bible, practicing homosexuals. Di ba? Yung practicing homosexuals, yun ang hindi pupunta sa langit. Pero marami po kasi sa atin malambot, matigas. You know? Bakit ka mo? Eh, paano? Yung buong buhay niya, kasama niya, sisters and mothers and titas. Tapos siya lang yung lalaki. Di lalaki lang talaga na malambot yan, right? So, again, read your Bible. Ngayon, ang dami po ngayon, mga practicing LGBTQs, grabe. Punta kayo sa, sa Canada, sa, even in Israel, they even blaspheme the name of Jesus Christ. And dami rin mga you, Church of Satan now is, is coming out. Dati nagtatago sila. Ngayon meron na. Church of Satan, nakakalungkot po. Sa England, isang Roman Catholic Church doon, converted na to a satanic church. And many cults and different religious worldviews are growing now. Ano ba yung mga kulto kapag si Jesus Christ ay hindi anak ng Diyos at hindi siya Diyos kulto yun? Kapag siya ay anghel lang. Okay? Pag siya ay, uh, ano, pag, uh, pag siya ay anghel lang, eh, hindi yan. O kaya propeta lang. Hindi po kulto po yun. Amen? Because that is not what the Bible tells us. 
Okay? Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Many false prophets shall appear. Ang daming propeta. No, the, no, the, the turn of the millennium. Meron nagsabing, yung pastor na ando doon, yung Messiah. No, sa Dabao. Darating si Jesus dito sa, bil, sa, sa ano na to, sa, sa, sa mountain na to, kaya bilhin natin tong mountain. Kaya yung mga miyembro, Nala, binili, binigay nila lahat, binenta nila lahat, tapos binili yung, yung, ano, yung, uh, yung bundok at pumunta sila doon. Turn of the millennium. Dumating ba si Jesus? Saan sabi niya? Paano dadating yun? Andito na ako. <laughs> And they turned that mountain into a kingdom. No? Eh, grabe. Open your eyes. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, open your eyes. Open your eyes. Huwag lang TikTok ng TikTok. No, huwag lang FB ng FB. No, tingtingin din tayo sa mga Christian uh, kung ano nangyayari sa ating mundo. Sin will be rampant and the love of many will turn cold. Dito sobra ito. And when the gospel of the kingdom will be preached to, all the, to the whole world, then Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ will, uh, will come. The end will come. Ito po yun. Kita nyo yung Zoom? Wala naman dati yan eh. Di ba? Wala dati YouTube. Di ba? Wala yan dati. Pero ngayon meron. You know why? Because God wants to command now Jesus to be back. Ang dami na kasing napipinsala sa kanyang mga anak. Why did I share these things to you? No, He also described, Jesus Christ also described what will happen in the heavenlies when He comes. And these verses have given me so much excitement. Uh, Matthew 24, verse 30 to 31. Can we read them all together? Then will appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then all the peoples of the earth will mourn when they see the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with power and great joy and great glory. And He will send His angels with a loud trumpet. Loud yan. Lahat naririnig. And then with a loud trumpet, trumpet call and then they will gather his elect from the four winds from one end of the heavens to the other. Ano ibig sabihin po niyan? Tinatawag po natin yung rapture of the church. Yung susunduin na po tayo. Sa ano ba ibig sabihin? Na ano, how does it look like? In verse 3.33 to 41, it reads there, But about that day or hour, no one knows, not even the angels in heaven, nor the Son, but only the Father. At it was in the days of Noah, so it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. For in days, uh, for in days before the flood, people were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in marriage, Up to the day Noah entered the ark and they knew nothing about what would happen until the flood came and took them all away. That is how it will be at the coming of the Son of Man. Can we all read this verse 4 together? Two men will be in the field. One will be taken and the other left. Two women will be grinding with a hand mill. One will be taken and the other left madi-disappear po tayo. Amen. Exciting, ano? Amen. Pwede po tayo in a twinkling of an eye. Pwede po tayo twinkling of an eye. Ganon, no? Ganon. Yan. Yan. Okay, sabay-sabay tayo. One, two, three. Andito ka pa ba? Uh, ibig sabihin, wala pa si Jesus. But there will be a time at a twinkling of an eye. Yung katabi mo, mawawala. Sabi mo, sana kasama ako. Tanong mo sa katabi mo, kasama ka ba sa mawawala? <laughs> This is exciting for true Christian converts but to, to those who are living a double life those who are living a do, who are living double lives those who justify their sin can we all read this together those who justify their sins those who feel remorse and confess but without repentance Those who procrastinate in surrendering the lordship of their life to Jesus, this event will be a time of remorse, a weeping, a gnashing of teeth. Yung gnashing of teeth, yung sana sumunod na ako, Pastor. Sana hindi na ako nagpabukas-bukas, ngayon na pala siya dadating, sana na-inform ako. 
Pwede ba yun? <laughs> diba? you know, those, you know, those who, who feel remorse and confess without repentance, gusto kong bumait pero di ko magawa. Those who procrastinate, you know, it's easy to say, Lord Jesus, you're my Savior. It's easy because Jesus has done it already. Saved you with His blood. But when you say, Jesus be my Lord, it's a different thing. That means you surrender your life to Him. All of it. All of it. Okay. Now, these events, these events, all of these nine events, is now happening in the world in increasing measure. And while the second coming of Jesus is still at hand, we Christians can, will be greatly affected. Alam niyo po ba, pag may, may, may famine, may equate, apektado ka. Tama po ba? Kahit anak ka ng Diyos. Pag nagkagera, apektado tayo. Kahit anak tayo ng Diyos. Hindi ba? You know, minsan, uh, and minsan, dahil sa paligid natin, lately lang, meron akong narinig, Pastor, nagka-chat ko, no? taga ibang bansa. Sabi, Pastor, minsan tinatanong ko, totoo bang may Diyos? Ang hirap eh, because the, you know, the difficulties of this world, will you make you question the existence of God. Now listen to the heart of Jesus as He bids farewell to His disciples. Tabi niya sa John chapter 16, verse 32 to 33, A time is coming and in fact has come when you will be scattered each, uh, each to your own home. You will leave me all alone. Yet, I am not alone. My Father is with me. I have told you these things so that in me, you will have peace. And in this world, you will have trouble. But take heart, I have come. I have overcome the world. May, may pasabi po ang Panginoon sa atin, huwag magkakaproblema po tayo. Dito sa mundo, ang daming problema. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, ano problema mo ngayon? Ang taong walang problema, puntahan niyo si Pastora Tintin. <laughs> mabigat magaang mabigat marami tayong problema pero ang sabi ng Panginoon especially when all of this these nine signs are, 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 are coming now it's happening now in increasing measure never before in increasing measure maaring World War I World War II Pastor nangyari yan World War I World War II pero the rest of it false messiahs false prophets Many who turn away from their faith, it's happening now. So what do we do? Now, these hardships that many are going through has been foretold by, G by, by G But Jesus said, take heart. Sabi mga, take heart. Take heart. Sabi niya, take heart. Be steadfast. Be stand strong. Because just like when his father did not leave him, Jesus will never leave us to. He'll never leave us to. Tayo lang ang nangiiwan sa Kanya. But, nag, uh, basahin nga natin, okay na, okay, kalimitan kasi okay na sa atin ito. Basahin natin, isa, sabay-sabay ha, nagdadasal. Sinas, ewan ko, baka sinabi nyo rin yung sarili nyo. Sinabi ko kasi noon yan eh. <laughs> oh, mga dahilan kung bakit. Ganito, ganito mang iwan sa Diyos. And not because you are here, ni mo na iniwan si, Diyos, si Lord. Not because you are here. Ibig sabihin, hindi ko na iniwi, I did not leave the Lord you know, because I'm here. No, kasi marami. Ang sabi nito, uh, ito yung mga reasons. Can we all read it together? Baka makarelate maka ka. <laughs> no? uh, number one, nagdadasal naman ako. Nagbabasa, kaya basahin natin, mahirap magtagal, magbasa ng Tagalog. Yung Englishing ko. No, difficult, difficult. <laughs> okay. Basabasabay ha. Nagdadasal naman ako. Nagbabasa naman ako ng Bible. Mabait naman ako. Maawain naman ako. Parehas naman ako lumaban. Nagsisimba naman ako. Kaya okay na kami ni Lord. Maging active sa church? Naku. Madami na akong problema. Tapos po problemahin ko pa yung problema ng iba. Tapos may makikialam pa sa buhay ko. Okay na ako na may church ako na inaattendan. Relate? <laughs> Relate, no? Alam niyo po, 
Napakahirap po na mabuhay na mag-isa. Mahirap batain or it's difficult to fight no? or to, to live with all the difficulties here. Alam nyo, napakahirap. One example, to malaki-laki, lika. Lika, 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 lika dito, ano? J, J, J. Ayan, si J. Ayan, dito ka, J, J, J. Ayan, ayan, ayan. Tayo ka, doon pa mo, ganyan. Ayan, 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 ha? Oo. Di ba? Hindi ka muna, di ba tapos? Dali, dali, dali. Ayan, di ka dito. Halika, halika dito. Ay, mga lalaki talaga. Halika, 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 halika. Halika, halika. Mark, lika dito, Mark. Mark, lika, Mark. Uh, Romel, lika dito, Romel. Ayan, ayan, ayan. ayan. Ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Hawa ka mo niya. Ganyan ka dito ka sa harap. Ayan, ganyan. Dito ka sa harap. Ito, mas maganda ka dito sa harap. Ayan. Dito kayo, dito kayo, dito kayo. Dito kayo, dito kayo. Dito kayo, dito kayo. Dito kayo, dito kayo. Ayan, dito kayo, dito kayo. Baso, baso po. Ayan. Laki eh, no? Ayan, dito kayo. Si Philip, si Philip. Dito ka, Philip. Philip, Philip. Si Philip. Ayan, Philip. Ayan, talaga malalaki eh, talaga. Talaga, kita mo. Tawa ka ng tawa dyan, FJ. Lika dito. FJ, lika. Ayan, di ba? Lika dito, dudes. Dito, dito ka, dito ka. Ayan, dyan. Ayan. Doon ka sa kabila. Doon ka sa kabila. Ayan. Ayan. Isa pa. Chester. Uh, halika dito. Ano? Uh, kahit si... Yeah, halika dito. Ano? Uh, Edmond. Edmond. Halika dito. Edmond. Ayan. Dagdagan natin ng maliit ng konti. Ha? Oh, ayan. Ayan. Halika Kevin. Halika si Kevin. Dito ka Edmond. Edmond. Dito ka. Dito ka. Ayan. Ayan. Dito ka. Ayan si Kevin. Evin. Dito ka. Doon do ka kayo. Ano? Doon. 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 Ayan. Ha? Tumatag kayo. Ha? Okay. Ha? Ah. Mm. 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 Sige. Mm. <laughs> Di ba? <laughs> Sa likod. Mm. Di ba? Salamat. Talapakan natin ng mga itong matatatag na to. Di ba? Hindi natin kayang harapin ang buhay sa mundo ng nag-iisa. Unang-una, kailangan natin si Kristo. Hindi natin kailangan ng relihiyon. Hindi natin kilala ang isang organisadong relihiyon. Ang kailangan natin ay si Kristo. At ang mahalaga, kailangan natin, sabi mo sa katabi mo, kailangan kita. Kung bakit, hindi ko alam. <laughs> We need each other. You know, si Jesus Christ was... May kwento ako sa inyo. Jesus Christ, na malapit na siya, napapaalam na siya, you know? Ando doon siya ngayon with His disciples, nagdi-dinner sila. No? Nagdi-dinner sila. And then, Jesus got up. No? What He did was to wash their feet. Alam niyo po, yung 12 disciples are 12 different personalities. May doktor, may tax collector, may mangingisda, no? May rebelde. Iba't ibang personalidad nila. No? At saka may mayabang. No? May pool of full of pride, no? So hinugasan niya yung paa. Pagdating nga kay Pedro, sabi niya, "Why me? I should be washing your feet." No, sabi niya, "No, these things, you know, I have to do this." Yeah, sabi ni Peter, "O oh, sige, pati paliguan mo na rin ako." Ko ako yung paliguan ko ng pinaghugasan ng paa. Paliguan <laughs> pa. So it's an and then and then after that, he explained to them why he did that. He did for the. He did them to. He, he said, "Do this. Serve each other in humility." Amen. Because imagine mo na hunukasa ng paa. Imagine ang dumipo ng paa ng mga tao noon. Because walapong mga sketchers, walang Adidas, nakaano sila yung sandalias at walang Uber noon. Maglalakad ka malayo. Saan? Sa disyerto, kaya ang dumi po ng paa. You know, I did that in Africa, in Kenya. Grabe yung mga, ano, mga, mga pastors doon, mayabang talaga. Grabe, ang yayabang nila. Turo, ibang klase talaga. First day, no, no, uh, but on the third day, during our, nag-seminar kasi ako doon, on the third day of the seminar, you know what I did? I washed their feet. Yung fit nila, tatlong araw na yung medyas. 
Ay, sabi ko, bakit ko ba ginawa to? <laughs> Grabe talaga. Pag nakakadawlawa pa lang ako, parang... <laughs> Pero you know what? Matitigas pong puso ng mga Africans. Africans, especially the African men, no? they will not cry in front of you. You know what? They all cried. One even cried like a baby. You know, God touched their lives. And now, they're part of my, my chat group. You know, they're now, you know their, their lives, is, their, their ministry is, uh, is expanding. In fact, we, uh, we sent, uh, we sent uh, uh, an don overhead projector to one of them. No? Nag, uh, nag, ano sila, uh, nag request sila. And then we, give, we gave no? one, uh, a projector to them. And then, if you say, you serve one another with humility. Natutuwa ako sa mga kabataan nito. Sana pati mga matatanda. You know, you see? They're now serving the Lord. Do they know what they're doing? Hindi. <laughs> I don't think they do. But they started to because their heart wants to serve the Lord. Amen. This is Jesus. And then, and then, He was deeply troubled. Jesus Christ was deeply troubled. And He predicted that he will be betrayed by one of them. And then listen intently now to the voice of Jesus Christ in John 13, 31 to 35. When he, Judas, was gone, Jesus said, Ano ba nangyari noon? Sabi niya, I will be betrayed. I will be betrayed. Sabi nila, No, not me. Sino? Ikaw ba? Baka ikaw. No, not me. Tapos sabi ni Jesus, Sino nga ba? Sabi ng mga disciples, Sino ba? Yung tatanggap nitong tinapay na to na ididip ko. Sabi niya, the one who will accept and eat this bread that I'm going to dip in wine. Ginawa niya yun. Binigay kay Judas. Kinain naman ng kuloko eh. Ano ibig sabihin? Hindi nakikinig. <laughs> Di ba? Hindi nakikinig. Siya na pala yung pinag-uusapan na magbibitray. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, makinig ka ha. Baka ikaw na yung... <laughs> <laughs> may kami paalala ang Panginoon sa atin and then sabi niya if God is glorified in him sabi niya papaalam na siya paalis na ako God will glorify the Son in himself and will glorify him at once my children I will be with you only a little longer you see from a friend from a master from a teacher now he calls them children Amen. Children, I will be with you only a little longer. You will look for me and just as I told the Jews, so I tell you now where I'm, where I'm going, you cannot come. A new command I give you. Love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. So, several things that you need to do to take a look at this. No, Number one, he calls us children. Amen. And John himself in John chapter 1, he says there, if you receive Jesus Christ, you become, you will have the privilege not to become a child of God. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, mukha na ba akong Jesus? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, mukha na ba akong Jesus? Amen. Mga anak, hindi po sa mukha yan. Amen. Hindi sa mukha. Nasa loob na lumalabas sa mukha. Yan, kahit ka ba'y tunay na anak ng Panginoon. Sabi niya, new command. And then number two is may command, love one another. Now, si Peter, sabi niya, saan ka pupunta? I will follow you. Sabi niya gano'n, bibigay ko ang buhay ko sa'yo. Sabi ni Peter, really? You will lay down your life for me? Very I, truly I tell you, bago tumilao kang manok, you will disown me three times. Again, tumilaok ang manok pangatlo, tatlong beses niyang dininay si Jesus. Right? Bakit niya ginawa yun? Hindi nakinig. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, makinig ka nga. Sabi mo, makinig ka nga. Amen. Sino po din naka-experience ng ganoon? Sinabi ko na nga ba, dapat ginawa ko yun eh. Amen. Napahama ka. Sabi ko na nga ba, sinabi ko ni pastor, gawin ko to eh. Sino, sino naka-experience noon? You know, napahama ka dahil hindi ka sumunod. Amen. Now, kalimitan sa atin, we are most, most of us, we are like Peter. We don't need anyone. 
Right? I can do all things. Imagine, ang yabang niya, labing dalawa sila, siya lang bibig. Pipigay ko, buhay ko sa'yo. Ha? Oo. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Kaya ba, siya rin yung mayabang na ano eh, di ba? Na, yung yung uh, naglakad sa, sa ano? Sa tubig. Labing dalawa sila doon, siya lang. Kung tip talaga, tawagin mo nga ako. Eh, tumawag, pumunta siya. Diba? Tumawag siya. O, mga, na, 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 ano nangyari niya? Nawala sa focus. Dahil sa waves, ano? Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, huwag ka, mafocus, huwag, ma, huwag ka mawala ng focus dahil sa problema mo. Huwag ka mawala ng focus sa problema mo. Ganun si Peter. Akala niya kaya niya mag But God, Jesus Christ, you know, chose 12 for a reason. Amen? They, he chose 12 for a reason. Because of His... Uh, Uh, some of our careless words, no? Most of us, most of us, we love we love Jesus only from our lips and not from our hearts. Ang pagmamahal natin kay Jesus ay mula ma- lamang sa nguso at hindi sa puso. Ngayon nga meron pang dagdag daliri. <laughs> Dati sa nguso lang wala sa puso, ngayon may daliri pa. <laughs> That is why because of the, our careless and reckless words and actions, we bring people to hell. Amen po ba? Kasi hindi natin tunay na napapakita. Why? Dito mismo sa church, nag-aawayan. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, promise, hindi kita aawayin. Yes. Yeah, dito sa church, nagtatampuhan. Right? Church, nag-break. Nag-divide. Anong mensahe binibigay natin sa mundo? Eh kung kayo hindi nagkakaisa, bet ako sasali sa inyo. That's why Jesus Christ, napaka-exacto niya, love one another so that they will know that you are my disciples. Now, punta tayo sa henerasyon na to ngayon. How can we love one another kung wala kang another? <laughs> right? How can we love? How can we show people na kung ikaw ay yung, if you are a person who just go to church, sit there, go out. If you are a person who goes, there, who goes here in church, you have a prayer list, sit there, no? ask God for blessings. No? If, you are a, if you are somebody who has, you so, you know, you have your tithes with you, you put your tithes there, you, you submit it, you give it, no? and then you go out. How can we express our love with one another? And worst, ganito, pupunta ka doon sa schedule ng pastor na gusto mo. <laughs> sino mag... Alvin, sino magpipreach ngayon? Kasi Alvin gumagawa ng slides eh. <laughs> But, sino magpipreach ngayon? Si ano, sa Saturday eh. Eh, sa Sunday sino? Ah, si ganito. Oh, sige, Sunday ako. <laughs> Libre naman ng Saturday. <laughs> It is, uh, ma- mahirap anak, mga anak. No, This is the reason why we need fellow believers to check us, to correct us, to make us feel that we belong, to make us feel that we are wor- uh, not worthless, but we have worth. Amen. In the service of God. This is the reason why we need fellow believers to check, to mentor us, to guide us, to train us, to lead us, and to send us and to love us. In our lives as Christians, listen up, we are called to belong, not just to believe. Amen? We are all called to belong, not just to believe. Just as we need Jesus, we need each other. Let's listen again to the command of Jesus Christ. The Bible, you know, Jesus Christ says, A new command I give you. Love one another as I have loved you, so you must love one another. By this, everyone will know that you are my disciples if you love one another. We discover our role in life through our relationship with others. Amen po ba? Right? Alam nyo kahapon, uh, one of my... Um, Nephew got married. 
Itong nephew ko na to, ano eh, you know, alam mo yun, parang uh, uh, kabataan na, you know, medyo man of the world, ganyan, no? bata, no? Ayan. girlfriend dito, girlfriend doon, mga ganyan. No? And then finally, finally, na in love. No? Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, love is commitment. Ayan. Baka yung boyfriend mo, 10 years na kayo, 15 years na kayo, hindi ka pa rin pinapakasalan. Hi. Mabuti ka nang umiyak ngayon kasi umiyak ka habang panahon. Amen. Walang commitment. But ako, hats off ako doon sa pamangking ko. No? Kasi kinasal sila kahapon. Now, alam na niya. Alam na niya ngayon kung ano yung role niya. Right? Ngayon, ang role niya ngayon maging husband. Then later on, God will bless them with a the child. May role na naman siya. Ano yun? Father. Right? Napakahalaga po that we discover a role in life. And we will never do that. You can never be a father na ikaw lang mag-isa. Pwede ba yun? Natutu- natatawa ako talaga. Uy, ang anak ko, ang ganda-ganda. Ang kit na, ang kit na anak ko. Ano yung pag? <laughs> alam mo yun, alam mo yun Uy baby, ang bumubungo naman ang baby ko Ano yun, Rottweiler <laughs> Alam mo yun <laughs> It's important That we have a relationship Hindi po pwede Kahit nga si Lone Ranger Kailangan may tonto Lone Ranger na nga siya eh. Kailangan niya si tonto We need people We are called to belong and not just to believe Following Christ includes belonging, not just believing. Amen. Dito ngayon, where you are right now, you are not just a part of a church. You are not just attending a church. You are a part of a family. We love you. We care for you. Makinig lang kayo. Amen. You, all of you, all of us here have gifts. May talento tayo. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, kumakanta ka ba? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, kumakanta ka ba? Sample nga, wag na lang. <laughs> you have a talent. Alam nyo ba si, asa si, si Dagang, si Rose? Alam nyo si Rose Dagang? Halika dito, Rose. Pagmamalaki lang kita. Halika, halika. Halika. Wala, oh, sige, mag-lipstick ka muna. <laughs> Lipstick. <laughs> Alam nyo, we need to know each other. Alam nyo po ba nagpapalakas ng loob nito? Lipstick. <laughs> Kaya kilala kilala namin. Ano na kilala namin ito? Naligaw lang ito eh. Sa church, naligaw. And she's a woman, testimony ko na, alam mo yun, mahilig sa disco. Ganyan. Mga maraming ganun-ganun, no? Masaming asawa. <laughs> And then, ang trabaho niya, ahens, sales. Sales siya, ano binibenta? Salamin. Optical. Optical. Yun lang naghahanap ng ma- taong malabo mata. Malabo ba mata mo? Bili ka. Uy, mukhang malabo mata mo. Bili ka. Kano sale? Ando lang ang buhay niya. Ano? Wala siyang, wala siyang alam na gawin kundi yun. But, when she decided to discover herself, ayan, ganyan, ginawa. Oh. Yung mga ginagawa ng mga bata na yan. Wala namang alam to sa, sa camera eh. Pero nung Nahilig na siya sa camera. Grabe. Hindi lang camera, video. Aba, hindi lang kumuha ng nag uh, hindi pa nag uh, alam niyo pati ano pati yung uh, uh, pati yung uh, editing. At ngayon matindi. Grabe ang gig nito. Walong 8 days na trabaho, 16,000. Oh, manalo ka diyan. Mga ganun. Ha? I mean, you know, pinag, pinag-aagawan ng dalawang grupo. And you know what? Because she discovered herself. And when she discovered herself, she used her, she used her discovery to serve God. Ito, kasama yan. Ito, ito yung mga, ano natin eh, mga, sa mga, kasama ni si Alvin. Ayan, yan. Ito, ito mga dalawang ito. Ito yung pinaka, uh, tawag doon. Yung pound pundasyon. You see? You have 
a gift. Siya hindi niya alam. At grabe, grabe mag tights. Hindi lang nagta-tights, nag-o-love offering pa. Sabi nga, you cannot outgive God. Buhos, pero dumayan siya sa hirap. Ano? Pero tanong mo kung magkano laptop niya ngayon? 17,000. Ha? Kita mo yung mga camera niya ngayon, magkano? Ha? Isi, pero saan siya nang galing? Pero saan siya nang galing? And I remember, we always encourage her. We always encourage her. And then she found herself. Alam nyo, thank you anak, palakuan natin. Ayan. Katatapos lang niya, Adipek. O, di ba? Adipek. No? And by the way, ilan lang siya sa mga female videographer. Kaya, ano yan? Uh, in demand. Ayusin mo lang, baka man-demand ka. <laughs> I'm so, nawala. I'm so proud of her. Grabe. Bakit ka mo? Nakilala niya. He found, she found out her, her worth. No? Nakita niya ang kanyang worth. And now, she used it first for the glory of God to serve others. You know? And then now, it has been God's channel of blessing in, his, in her life. In God's family, we are connected to every other believer. And we, we belong each other to each other eternally. Alam niyo yun? Yung, yung makikilala mo si... Uh, alam na alam mo pag si... si mababa ang confidence niya pag hindi naka-lipstick si ano? Si, si Rose. Talaga. Buti nga ngayon, napatala ko dito. Hindi naka, pero naka-lipstick na yan. Pero kailangan mayroon pa, sa pang ganun. Very <laughs> touch. You make lead to know each other. Tanong mo nga sa katabi mo, kilala mo ba ako? Ha? Kilala mo ba ako? Ako, ang dami kong marites sa bawat isa sa inyo. No, pero hindi ko na imamarites. But the thing is that I know each one, most of you kasi nag-open kayo. Amen? You're really part of my life. The Bible says a Christian without a church home is like an organ without a body. Alam niyo yun, wala akong katawan, tapos nakikita niyo sa akin, puso ko lang. Abdo, atay, mga ganon. Walang body. Nothing to put them together. Na? Uh, it's, it's, it's like a ship without a flock. A ship without a flock. It's like a child without a family. This is such a sorry state of a follower of Christ. Dapat baguhin na natin ang, ang, pagmam, ang isip natin. Tabi mo nga sa katabi mo, you belong to ACCI family. We belong to each other. No? We belong. Ang ACCI family, may mga smaller groups. We call them life groups. Okay? So be part of a life group kasi dito kayo lalago. Yung mga life group natin, may mga, may mga pangalan niya, mga biblical uh, uh, heroes, no? Andiyan dyan si Samson. Oh, alam niyo yung mga Samson, ano yan? Yung mga LGBTQ Samson, ang pangalan ng life group nila, Samson. Di ba? Marami. May, uh, uh, may John, the beloved, may John. You know, be part. Be part of a life group. And not just be part. Huwag ka lang magpa-sign up, no? Umatin ka rin naman. Now, It is an unnatural state, the Bible says. The Bible says you belong in God's household with every other Christian. Hindi sinabing you belong to, 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 to a church or to a denomination. No? The Bible says you belong in God's household. Sino ba nakatira sa household? Kapit, sino ba kapit, mga kaibigan mo? Di ba? Pamilya mo, right? Household and with every other Christian. Sabi niya sa Ephesians chapter 2, sabi ni Apoto Pablo, Consequently, you are no longer foreigners and aliens, but fellow citizens with God's people and members of God's household. Amen. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, alien pala tayo. No? We're no longer, we're no longer uh, alien tayo dito sa mundo. Right? Pero sa household, ng Panginoon, iisa tayo. We belong to God's household. Why do we need why do we need a church family? Why do we need a church family? If I'm going to if I'm going to uh, uh, spell church family, no? Church family. I'm going to spell it. I'm going to spell it with L O V E. 
Amen? Gusto nyo ng sign language? Hmm. <laughs> Ganun ba sign language? Sign language ba to? <laughs> we need the church family. Why do we need a church family? Number one, it, ad- it identifies us as a genuine believer. Napakahalaga po nito. I can't claim to be following Christ if I'm not committed to any specific group of disciples. No such thing as a Lone Ranger Christian. John chapter 13, verse 34b, sabi niya, By this all men will know that you are my disciple if you love one another. There's no such thing as, you know, loving yourself but not loving one another. The greatest commandment is this, to love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind, and to love others as you love yourself. Hindi niya sinabi doon, love yourself. Sabi niya, love others as you love yourself. Number two, a church family moves you out of self-centered isolation. As a participating member of a church, you learn to care about others and share the experiences of, uh, of others. If you are a participating member, sabi mo sa katabi mo, participating ka ba? Okay. You know, God did not create us to occupy a space. Hindi yan ang purpose ng Panginoon in creating us, no? To occupy a space. This church, this table, uh, this, this chairs here, this is not created only for you to occupy it. You be part of everyone. Amen. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, nagpa-participate ka ba? You know, later on, I'm going to share with you how to, to be part of this. Now, a church family helps you develop spiritual muscles. Spiritual muscles. You will never grow to maturity just by attending worship services and being a passive spectator. You will never grow to maturity. Kung attend, attend ka lang. Amen? Be part of a smaller group. Be part of a church. And be part of a, of, of a smaller group. In that group, I tell you, maraming grupo dito, nag-aaway-aaway, pero nagbabati-bati kagad. Amen? Just like Jesus Christ, iba 12 different personalities. Right? Paano niya nagawa yun? No? Because of love. Because of? Love. Because of? Love. love. Because of love. You know, Ephesians chapter 4.16, From Him, the whole body joined and held together by every supporting ligament, grows and builds itself up in love as each part does its work. Okay? All of us have, you know, we are God's workmanship created in Jesus to do good works that was already prepared for us in advance. May assignment ka. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, may assignment ka. Mag-submit ka na. Submit. Finish or not finish. <laughs> Submit. We need more than the Bible in order to grow. We need other believers. We grow faster and stronger by learning from each other and being accountable to each other. When others share what God is teaching them, you know, we, 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 learn, we learn and we grow together. Amen. Meron pong grupo dito, by the way. Nagugulat talaga ako dun sa life group leaders. Ang hirap. Ang hirap, pinaka- mahirap, mahirap, uh, mahirap, um, i-facilitate, mahirap uh, yung tulu- turungan ng ano, na maging close. Alam nyo kung ano yung mga grupo na yon Yung grupo ng mga mag-aasawa. Tawag natin yan Barnabas Family. Nako. Pag nagbabasa ako ng mga text, at, ay, mukha matitindi. You know? But alam nyo, nako, natutuwa ako kasi hindi sila nag-aaway-aaway. They still love each other. Oh, may maririnig ka ng mga, mga rebuke. Ba't hindi naman may, may, may picture? Sabay-sabay sila nag-picnic. <laughs> Alam niyo yun? <laughs> they came to know each other. Nung nag-uumpis na yan, umiiyak po. Sina Jinky. <laughs> Pero ngayon, you see why? They grew up knowing each other and loving each other in spite of. Masakit ba kamay niyo? Okay, laman na Oh, kamay. Okay. Next, the body of Christ needs us. 
The body of Christ needs you. God has a unique role for every for, for you to play in this family. This is called your ministry, and God has gifted you for this assignment. First Corinthians 12, 7. Spiritual gift is given to each of us as a means of helping the entire church for the common good. Your local fellowship is the place of God, place God designed for you to discover, develop, and use it as your gift. This is this is this is our church family. We belong to another family. Amen, ba? The body of Christ. We are ACCI family is very active in the in in the body of Christ. There was a time when we, you know, to uh, puno na mga pastor, mga magkakaibigan pastor. And on November 17, we will come together, come together um, uh, to worship the Lord, no? To kasama na kanyang praise and worship team. Uh, praise and worship team, I'd like to talk, talk to you nga pala after this. And then, on our, on our anniversary, on our anniversary, dito raw ako sa taas kasi, nakukuha lang tuktok ko eh. Nakukuha dito lang ako sa taas. I love you, Nak. Buti na lang, pinasabihan ako. Sabi, pag nasa baba ka, tuktok mo lang nakikita. Sabihan dito lang ako. <laughs> Sabi ko, sa anniversary po natin, first, day, first time mangyayari po ito, we will celebrate our anniversary together with the body of Christ. Amen? Amen. Yan. Praise the Lord. But let's pray. Let's pray. Meron ng mga opposition, katulad po nung, uh, sa ISC, hindi tayo pinayagan. Now, the, the first 12-hour praise and worship dito sa UAE, no, we organized it doon sa Indian Center. Ang dami, thousands came. No, from different parts of the country. Ayun si Sister Bell, no, pagod na pagod Sister Bell noon. <laughs> no, organize natin 'yan. And I was hoping para historically, no, parang maganda to do, to, do, to, do, to do it there again. Kaya nga lang problema na naman, kailangan ng permit. Okay? So, we are part of the body of Christ. Amen. Next, you will share in Christ's mission in the world. The church is God's instrument on earth. You know, God expects so much from us, but most especially, God expects so much from the church. Are you with me? No? God expects so much from you as a believer, but He, is more, he, he expects more. No? So much from us as a church family. We are now ACCI family in for, for the information of, uh, of those who are, are VIPs and those who are new. We started in Abu Dhabi of ACAD, hindi ACCI, ACAD, All for Christ Church, Abu Dhabi. We thought that that's God's plan, only God's plan. And then he, we, we, he, he uprooted that us here, my, me and my wife and my family, and planted that us in Dubai. And then there in Dubai, nabu, nabuhay, na pinanganak yung ACCI, uh, ACCI Dubai. And then, may isa doon si, si, si Pastor Raeni who sacrificed. No, maganda yung trabaho niya sa Dubai. Maganda yung paying job niya sa Dubai. But sabi niya, binigay sa akin, ang binibigay sa akin ng Panginoon, Sharjah. So, nag-accept siya sa Sharjah. Lower rank, lower, lower salary. You know? But she did it. No? Doon pa rin siya. Now, meron na tayong ACCI Sharjah. Amen. <laughs> At kaya ngayon, hindi na akad, ACCI na tayo. You know why? Because na ngayon, meron na po tayong ACCI Kenya. Pastor Nick Moriti, we trained him for, for uh, he became part of our family for three years. And then now, he's planted in, in uh, Kenya. So meron tayong ACCI Kenya. Meron na rin po tayong ACCI sa Amerika. Si shout out kay Pastora Ems, no? tsaka si Mosh. So, Ameri USA, ando doon na si Jasper ngayon, bukas ata dadating. May ACCI America na po tayo. Right? Sa Singapore, meron din din po tayo, uh, si, kasama si, si Sherwin at saka si Keishi. Singapore. No? Saudi Arabia. No? Meron na tayo, ando na pas si Pastor, uh, uh, Pastor Kathy. So, tapos, uh, sa Poland, meron na tayong life group doon, si Louie. Life group sa Poland. Saan pa? Canada, nagumpisa na si Alexis, no? Magjo-join na si na Aki doon sa kanila. Sa Amerika, meron pang isa si John Mark De Real, nag-start na rin ng bag ng, ng life group nila. Sa Pilipinas, meron na rin. You see, sabi mo sa katabi mo, you belong to a mission sending church family. Amen. Amen. God will approach you here and bring you in another place for a reason. Huwag lang nating kakalimutan. 
pag inapport tayo dito dahil may purpose ang ating Panginoon. Amen. To share God's love wherever God plants you. Okay? Next, church family will will help keep you from backsliding. Ayun. A church family can help will help you keep keep you from backsliding. None of our none of our none of us are immune to temptation. Given the right situation, you and I are capable of any sin. God knows this, so He has assigned us as individuals the responsibility of keeping each other on track. Hebrews 3.13 Encourage one another daily as long as it is called today so that none of you may be hardened by sin's deceitfulness. You mind your own business is not a Christian phrase. It's not a Christian phrase. We are called and are commanded to be involved with one another. Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, pwede mo ang pakialaman kung nagkakasala ako. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, promise yan ha, na pwede kang pakialaman. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, sige, call my attention. Pwede mo akong pakialaman kapag ikaw, ako ay nagkakamali. No? James tells us in James 5.19, My brothers, if one of you should wander from the truth and someone should bring him back, remember this, whoever turns a sinner from the error of his way will save him from the death and cover over a multitude of sin. In Hebrews 13.17, Obey your leaders and submit to their authorities. They keep watch over you as men who must be, give an account. Obey them so that their work will be a joy, not a burden. For that would be of no advantage to you. We as leaders, we as pastors, we are accountable to God. Amen. Kaya pag nagpapa, nag, nag, meron, nag, uh, ano kayo, nagpapaalam kayo sa akin and it will compromise the word of God, I'm sorry, I will not. Amen? And I will even catch your attention kapag nagkakamali ka. Uy, nag-post ka ng ano ha, hawak-hawak mo na naman, tropa mo na naman si Alfonso. <laughs> May Alfonso ka na namang hawak. Yeah, I will really, no? Ginagawa ko yan sa marami dito, di ba? Right? And finally, our Father loves us, His family. He will take care of our needs. He will fight our battles. He will comfort us when tears are in our eyes, protect us, teach us, coach and mentor us, and most especially, guide us. Okay, Amen? Kaya nga sa Romans 8, 14, 17, sinabi niya, He has given us, you know, binigyan tayo ng privilege to call Him Abba Father. You know, our Father here, ang tunay na, 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 na ama natin ay ang ating God the Father in heaven. Amen? And amen? Right? Um, I am sharing with you Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Because through Jesus Christ, we can connect with the Father. Sino pa ang nag, nag, nagbe-bless? Si Jesus Christ o ang Father? Ang Father ang nag, nag, nagbe-bless. Hindi si Jesus Christ. But we can, we can come to the Father through Jesus Christ. Amen? Praise the Lord. Am I making sense here? Yes. Amen? Amen. So therefore, we need to love one another. Do not just be an attender. Be part of us. Be seriously, seriously be a part of us. God has something great intended for ACCI family. And I praise and thank God we have more than 30 pastors. No pastors in full pledge pastors, uh, pastors in training, and, and pastors in study. And we have so many uh, life group leaders now, and ministry volunteers and heads. Be part of us. Amen? Let me close with this now. Whenever a child is born... He or she automatically becomes a part of the universal family of human beings. Yan. Pag, pin, pag, pag, pinalang, pag pinanganak yan. But that child also needs to become a member of a specific family to receive nat- uh, nurture and care and grow up to be healthy and strong. The same is true spiritually. When you are born again, you automatically become a part of God's universal family. But you also need to become a member of a local expression of God's family. Satan loves detached believers. Ulitin po natin yan. Satan loves detached believers. Unplugged from the life of the body, isolated from God's family, and unaccountable to spiritual leaders because he knows they are defenseless and powerless against his tactics. The enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. We need each other. God will fight for us, but we need to be one with Him. When you are born again, when you are born again, a new spirit 
is, is given to you through Jesus Christ. Yan po ang ibig sabihin ng born again. Ang ibig po, hindi po ibig sabihin ng born again a new life. O pagbabalik sa Panginoon, pagbabalik sa Diyos. Hindi po epekto po yan ng pagiging born again. Ang tunay na pagiging born again ay yung ipinanganak muli ang, pani, ang, ang panibagong spirito. Spirito na namatay kay Adam. Nung nagkasala si Adam, namatay yung spirito na inihinga ng Diyos sa kanya. Kaya disconnected siya sa Panginoon. And that spirit, kapag hindi yan, uh, by God's grace and mercy, at hindi, yan, uh, hindi, hindi na po mabubuhay yan. Patay na yan. By the time the time comes we die, that spirit goes to hell. For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death in eternity through the fires of hell. But God loves us so much that He gave His only begotten Son, Jesus. Whosoever believes in Him shall, shall not perish but have everlasting life. If you receive Jesus Christ, a new spirit, a baby spirit, a born again spirit shall be given to you. Sino po dito nung pinanganak ka? Naglalakad ka na. Sino dito yung pinanganak ka? You know? Nagbabasa ka na. Kumakain ka na ng mag-isa. Wala naman sigurong ganun, ano? Weird. Kaya tayo, pag born again, yung spirito natin, hindi pa yan marunong. Sabi ko nga sa inyo, nung, hindi, hindi, nung wala pa kayo dito, ang hirap magtaas ng kamay. Ano bang ginagawa nito mga ngayon to? Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Ganun ka din ba noon? Ganun ako noon eh. Hindi ko maitaas ang kamay ko kasi para mak- nakakababa ng pagkalalaki ko. You know, para ano ba yan? Parang sobra naman, no? Yung may maiiyak sa Panginoon, arte naman ito. Ano bang drama-drama nito? You know? May meron pa nga pa, iyak, grabing iyak sa Panginoon. Ang laki siguro ng kasalanan nito. <laughs> Sobrang umiyak. Ang laki siguro ng kasalanan nito. Ano, ganun tayo noon. Di ba? Ganun tayo noon. Ako, hilig-hilig ko magsimba, lalo na pag yung, yung simbang gabi. Gusto kong pun- kumpletohin yan kasi bakit ka mo? Gaganda ng mga chicks. Naku, ganda ng forma ko. Tapos, pup, tatabihan ko yung maganda. Pag, peace be with you. Peace be with you. Aman namin, aman namin. Oh, Di ba? <laughs> Patay ang spirito. Na hindi mo napakinggan yung mensahe ng Panginoon. Tingin ka ng tingin. But when you're born again, tuturo ang kamuli ng Panginoon. That's when you can raise up your hands. You can cry to God. You can sing. Amen? You can lift up your hands. You can forgive. You can ask forgiveness in humility. And you can forgive. Yan ang nagagawa kapag ang spirito mo becomes mature. Spiritually mature and emotionally mature. At saan mo yan makukuha? Sa church family. A church is a family who will take care and nurture and nourish yung mga bagong baby Christians until they become matured spiritually and emotionally and then they too will take care of brand new baby born again. Amen. Tanong natin sa sarili, tanong mo sa katabi mo, baby ka pa ba o teenager ka na? Um, ganyan din po. You know, ang mga baby Christians. You know, yung mga baby Christians, ang baby, di ba? Hihingi lang yan. Hihingi, controller, controlling yan mga baby, di ba? Tama? Isang ingap mo lang. Oh. Pag may kailangan, Hiya! Ganyan tayo sa umpisa. Pag baby ka pa lang, Lord, pahingi nito. Bibigay sa'yo ni Lord. Papakilala niya kasi na totoo, kay, totoo siya eh, di ba? Tapos pagdating mo ng nung high school ka na, medyo teenager ka na. Yeah, matigas na ulo mo. Pero born again ka. Kaya nga lang, nagdi-discovery ka. Di ba? Tapos nagkoleyo ka. Nako, nung nagkoleyo ka, pag hindi ka inalagaan ng church family at hindi ka nagpaalaga, nako, madali kang hilahin sa ibang pamilya. Baka pamilya ni Tading pa mapuntahan mo. Di ba? Hanggang paglaki mo, But the good thing is this, ano ang pag may inumpisahan ng Panginoon sa iyo, tatapusin niya 'yon. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. 
Praise God. It is your choice, my brethren. The difference between being a church attender and a church member is commitment. Say it with me, commitment. Attenders are spectators from the sidelines. Members get involved in ministry. Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, sali ka na sa ministry. Sali ka na. Sali ka na sa ministry. God has a big plan for ACCI. Huge plan for the ACCI. Marunong kang kumanta. Marunong kang kumanta. Marunong kang tumugtog. Kumihilig kang tumugtog. Gusto mo mag-serve. No? Kahit maglinis. Amen? Kahit na maging member ng Asher's team, to be members of the Asher's team, see, be part of a family. Sabi mo nga sa katabi mo, wag kang, ano yun tawag doon? Um, wag, uh, wag kang tamad <laughs> sa pamilya. <laughs> di ba sa pamilya may tamad, di ba? Right? Kain lang ng kain, tapos tulog. Kain, tulog. Kain, tulog. Games. Netflix. Tulog ulit. Kain ulit. You know? Meron kasi mga church members na ganyan. Kain lang ng kain. Right? Sabi niya, sabi dito, attenders are consumers. Members are contributors. Attenders want the benefit of the church without sharing the responsibility. They are like couples who want to live together without committing to to a marriage. Gusto lang niya benefit. Pag naghingi na gano ng, oh, Meron tayong love offering. Sige, pagpe-pray ko. Oh, may, may sakit. May love offering. Oh, sige. sige, I'm going to pray. Okay naman yung prayer, di ba? Sabi mo sa katabi mo, bumunot ka din. <laughs> Baka ikaw yung answer sa prayers. <laughs> di ba? Right? The Christian life is more than just commitment to Jesus Christ. It includes a commitment to other Christians. The first decision brings salvation. The second brings fellowship. Now listen to the command of Jesus Christ once again for us to obey. He says, A new command I give you. Love one another as I have loved you. So you must love one another. By this all men will know that you are my disciples if you love one another.